I heard about this situation, um, I believe it was somewhere around the 6.30 to 7 o'clock. Uh, I was very concerned when I heard there might be a large gathering. Um, the commissioner will talk about uh, how the NYPD approached it. But I have to say, um, again, I understand that when people are going through mourning, they're in real pain. But we have to understand what it means to hold a large gathering in New York City today. It, it means, unfortunately, that people who go to that gathering, some will be sick with this disease. It's just a fact. We know this. Some will spread the disease to others. People, as a result, will die. So I have a long, deep relationship with the Orthodox Jewish community. A lot of personal relationships, a lot of people I know and respect. I have a lot of love for the community. The notion that people would gather in large numbers, and even if they didn't mean to, would spread a disease that will kill other members of the community is just unacceptable to me. So we have to do something different. And um, we have to break out of whatever we thought was normal in the past because these are not normal times. So we're not going to be allowing these kind of gatherings in any community. Uh, this was by far the largest, community, the largest gathering in any community of New York City of any kind that I had heard of or seen uh, directly or on video since the beginning of this crisis, and it's just not allowable. So we have to change this reality. We will work closely with the community to do it, but we have to change this reality. Commissioner? Yeah, Mr. Mayor, I think you hit the nail on the head. Before we get into the specifics of yesterday's incident, what troubles me most is, um, as a department, as a city, we've been through a lot already. And members that have gotten sick, members that have given their life, whether it's in the health field, certainly in the police department. Make no mistake, this large gathering such as this is putting members of my department at risk. And it cannot happen. And it will not happen. And it's going to be met with very stern, as it was last night, immediately being broken up and, and stern consequences. What we know about yesterday's incident was at approximately 3.30 in the afternoon, we learned of the passing, unfortunately, of, of a prominent rabbi from the Williamsburg section of Brooklyn. Uh, immediately, within, within minutes, uh, members of the local precinct were in contact with clergy liaisons and, and members of the uh, Jewish community in terms of what to expect at that location. Um, plans were put in place. A detail was put in place. Unfortunately, when you look back at some of the past incidents, there's been a lot of work done throughout New York City with every faith. And people, again, have been overly, uh, overwhelmingly compliant. Um, but there has been a couple incidents that, that were not so. Uh, so contingency plans were put into place. A number of officers were detailed uh, in, the, in the unlikely event that large numbers came, and we thought that that was a possibility, but absolutely, I think we've been pretty consistent, Mr. Mayor, for what seems like a longer time, but probably months now, that there are to be no gatherings in New York City, such as what we saw last night. So within, uh, as the time unfolded last night, there was probably several thousand people uh, that, that came in and around that location on Bedford Avenue. Uh, additional officers, I was in conversations with uh, members of the um, upper echelon of the NYPD. Additional officers were called in, and in pretty short time, um, that crowd was dispersed, and, and a number, I think the final tally I saw was 12 summonses were issued for a variety of offenses, um, certainly social distancing, and then including some for a refusal to disperse. But I, I want to end where, where I started with this. What happened last night simply cannot happen. And, and we need all New Yorkers, all New Yorkers have come together during this crisis, but they need to do it more than ever. And we need community leaders to stand beside us. Uh, we cannot have people unnecessarily being exposed to a disease that is having catastrophic effects on our membership and really New Yorkers as a whole. 